On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install a hitch and a cargo carrier so you can have that optional cargo space, whether you'll be transporting materials and tools to your job site or if you just travel in your family and you want that extra baggage space and you want this to be able to disconnect, stow away easily. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. I usually don't do these type of videos where it concerns vehicles, but I think it's rather appropriate because it kind of relates to if you want to be able to transport material to and from your job site, whether it be your tools, and you just want that extra cargo space. You want to lubricate each one of these hangers that attaches to your exhaust. They're made out of rubber so they can flex easily. And now you want to do is support that exhaust when after you disconnect it to the hanger itself so that that weight is distributed evenly still and it does damage your downpipe all the way down to the front of your car now we're just taking off these extra paneling they're made out of plastic and supported by these plastic grommets and we're just taking it off I'll store it for future uses just in case and now that you have that off we're going to be taking these additional plastic uh, supports as well both on each side should be using a 10 millimeter um, socket right there and all the tools on this video i'll provide on the bottom below using this hitch this one's by e-trailer so i'm not sponsored by them i'm just saying that they're a very good product um, they provided me with this hitch it's pretty pretty nice and it's powder coated black they have various uh, options for your vehicle so check out their website um, this one's made specifically for my vehicle which is the cx9 and it is uh two inches by two inches hitch which is the what, what I mean is the two inches by two inches opening. They provide all the hardware that is needed, including the pigtails, the nuts, the bolts, and the hangers. First thing that you want to do is you want to take this 17 inch pigtail and feed it right through the opposite forward to the rear. And then you're going to be able to fish it out right there. I'm just fishing this out with my box knife, probably not the right tool. Feed through your support bracket and gonna feed it right through the hole and then you're gonna screw in your bolt onto that pigtail. All right, so after you feed that bolt and tighten onto that pigtail, you're gonna shove this back in the hole and then you're gonna pull it out right there so that the bolt will feed right through that bracket. Easy as that. All right, after that, you're just gonna unscrew that pigtail and you're gonna reverse it. You're gonna put the bolt inside the pigtail first and then you're gonna feed it right through the hole and then you're gonna feed that bracket and then feed that inside the hole as well. After that's done, it should be easy and you should be able to pull that over and through that bracket. So once that's done, it should look like this and exactly what you did here, you're gonna do exactly on the other side. I'm not gonna show that because it's pretty much the same. All right, so we're gonna attach those pigtails. You should be provided with four of these, uh, one per each bolt and I highly suggest you get help Thankfully, my wife was there to help me out to lift this. This is fairly heavy. And then we're going to feed it um, right through. Uh, use that pigtail and feed it right through the hole. And then we're going to close it up with the washer and just hand tighten the bolt. And then use your torque wrench to pretty much tighten these down. But first, we're going to ratchet it first. Then we're going to apply the torque wrench. Now, the torque is specified on the instructions. So make sure that you check, take a look at that. Now we're just pretty much going to put back the rubber hanger grommets. I, don't, I think that's the right term. But anyways, we're going to feed those right back in. should be easy because it's still lubricated doing both sides. And it should be mounted just like that. Now I'm going to show you how this pretty much this is pretty cool product right here. This is a cargo carrier. Uh, it's pretty nifty. Uh, it's one of the great attachments. It holds about um, close to 600 pounds in weight. Um, check out the description down below on what product this is, um, but it's pretty it's pretty nice I really like it. It folds up as well after you fold it You can actually fold this upwards without it touching your trunk Now you can see the measurements right there. They vary in different sizes But this is very handy especially here when I traveled from house to house. It's an extra Great space to you know load up all the paints all the other tools that I need for the job site And then we're gonna just easily disassemble you're just gonna take it off right there latch it on each side And then you can just pretty much close it up after you closed everything up There's a little tiny nut that you can insert so it doesn't open up while you're traveling just like that easy and handy 
there you go so now we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to disconnect this it's pretty easy you're just gonna be taking it out um there's a nut that connects to the hitch and then you're gonna use a rubber mallet to just pretty much take out that locking pin and take this uh, pin out as well and then it's pretty much just taking it out of the hitch so there you have it very easy now you can transport this elsewhere and it just pretty much sits around below 12 inches from the ground so you have plenty of clearance and that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed and uh, hope find this video helpful i'll see you in the next video